Hello friends and welcome to virtual story time at the Chippewa River District Library. Will you join me in singing the hello song? Hello friends, hello friends, hello friends, it's time to say hello. Welcome to story time. Today I have something very, very special for you. It's a letter. Do you see that letter? It says to Storytime Friends and it has the library's address. Let's see what it says. Hmm. It says, hello friends. Dear Storytime Friends, we are going to have such a fun time this morning with stories all about letters and mail. Thank you for joining us at the library. Let's get reading your friend, Christy. It's from me to you. There's your letter. And I know the perfect book to get started today. We're going to read a book over here on my shelf called It Came in the Mail. Here it is, It Came in the Mail by Ben Clayton. Let's see what this book is all about. It Came in the Mail by Ben Clayton. Oh look, even on this first page we've got a postcard and a mailbox. There's a stamp in the corner. Liam loved to get mail. Hooray, he says. Too bad he never got any. Aw, oh, boogers. He checked daily, hourly, every few seconds, but found diddly squat. Oh man, has that ever happened to you? It can be very exciting to get mail, but it's always a bummer when it doesn't come, isn't it? But then, on a day much like any other, an idea struck Liam. Boink! Oh my goodness, did you see that? That idea struck Liam right in the head. Ouch! If he sent some mail, maybe then he'd get some in return. Gotta go write a letter. See you later, Jamal. Uh, okay. Whoosh! Off he goes to write his letter. Let's see what he writes. Not sure who to send something to. Liam sent the letter to his mailbox. The letter said, Dear Mailbox, I would like to get something in the mail. Something big, please. Love, Liam. Hmm, I've never thought about writing a letter to my mailbox before. Have you ever thought about writing a letter to your mailbox? Hmm, I don't know if this idea will work. As soon as Liam put the letter in, the mailbox began to shake. It began to make all sorts of strange sounds. Crank, toot, whir, wink, scubble, wibble, whoop. Oh my goodness. This is unprecedented mailbox behavior. I've never seen a mailbox behave this way. When Liam looked inside, he was met by a blast of fire. A dragon had come in the mail. And it was for Liam. How does that dragon even fit in that mailbox? Have you ever received a dragon in the mail? I haven't. If you'd like to find out what other crazy creatures and things Liam gets in his mailbox, you can check this book out from the library. There'll be a link in the description of the video to find out how to check this book out from CRDL, the Chippewa River District Library. Now that we've learned a little bit about receiving letters in the mail, let's talk about who delivers a letter like this. A letter carrier, a postman or a postwoman, is the person who brings us our letters. They stop off at the post office and they pick up all of the letters for everyone and then they take them and deliver them into all of the different mailboxes all through town. So let's pretend that we're letter carriers and that we're delivering this letter. And you can follow along as we do this rhyme. I'm going to be walking and running and hopping and you can do all of those motions along with me. The rhyme goes like this. I'm a little letter carrier who loves nothing better. 
I walk, walk, walk to deliver your letter. Good job. Can you walk, walk, walk with me? Let's try that one again. I'm a little letter carrier who loves nothing better. I walk, walk, walk to deliver your letter. Let's try it again, but this time let's run to deliver the letter. Are you ready? I'm a little letter carrier who loves nothing better. I run, run, run to deliver the letter. Good job, good running. Okay, we're gonna try one more time, and this time we're going to hop to deliver the letter. Are you ready? I'm a little letter carrier who loves nothing better. I hop, hop, hop to deliver the letter. Good job, thanks for doing that rhyme with me, friends. Hey friends, it's time to start writing. So you can practice by following along with your finger or you can grab a pen and follow along on a piece of paper. I've marked out the basics of what we're gonna be writing. You can have someone do the same for you and you can trace the letters in the air. Just remember, any attempt is a good attempt when it comes to practicing your pre-writing skills. Let's get started. Okay, let's get started with this capital letter at the beginning of the word. What letter is that? M. Next we have this lowercase letter. A. M. A. Hmm. What is next? I. M A I one more set of dots to follow L M A I L M A E L M A L mail friends let's talk about what makes up a letter what about this piece of paper that I've put in an envelope magically gets to somebody else's house? Well, there's some really interesting information that we put on a letter and that tells the letter carrier how to send it. The first thing is in this corner here, we have a stamp. In this case, it's a drawn on stamp, but if you were really sending a letter, you would buy a stamp from the post office you would stick it on there like a sticker and it would let the letter carrier know that you had paid to send that letter. That's how the letter carrier gets paid for doing their job. And then the biggest thing is this right here. Here's where you write the address of the person you want to receive your letter. So I address this letter to you. I wrote Storytime Friends because that's who I wanted the letter to go to. And then I put the address of the library because that's where we meet, is at the library. And then finally, in the corner here, you can see I wrote my name and my address because if the letter gets lost and they can't send it to you, they'll use this information to send it back to me. And that way you know where it came from. So that's what a letter looks like. I have lots of different letters here behind me. I wonder if we can tell where they came from. Hmm, just by looking. Let's try this first red one here. Let's figure out where it came from. Oh, I've got a lovely letter in the mail. Oh, I've got a lovely letter in the mail. Getting mail is so much fun. Let's see who this one's from. Oh, I've got a lovely letter in the mail. Hmm, who is this letter from? Let's see, that stamp is, what is that a picture of? Hmm, looks like cheese. Somebody wrote the address very small. You can barely read it the librarian and then it has the library's address hmm who would write this letter do you think do you have any guesses that sounds like a good guess let's find out by opening it up oh, 
It was the mouse. This letter says, Dear friend, if you have any cheese, can you please leave it by my hole? Thank you, love, mouse. <gasps> wow. Well, I guess I, I guess I should have figured that a mouse would leave a stamp that looked like a cheese, wouldn't they have? What a lovely letter from mouse. Let's try this orange letter. Oh, I've got a lovely letter in the mail. Oh, I've got a lovely letter in the mail. Getting mail is so much fun. Let's see who this one's from. Oh, I've got a lovely letter in the mail. Hmm, who is this one from? The stamp on this one has a picture of a cave with some big footprints going into the cave. And somebody wrote really big. They must have really big handwriting. Hmm. Who do you think sent this letter? Hmm. So some good guesses. Let's find out who it was by opening up the letter and finding who was inside of it. Let's see. It's from our friend Bear. Bear says, dear friend, I've been sleeping all winter. What a lovely nap. Love, Bear. Well, what a nice letter our friend Bear sent to us. No wonder the handwriting is so big. It was written by a bear. And he put a picture of his cave as the stamp. Wow. Let's see who wrote this yellow letter on my board. Oh, I've got a lovely letter in the mail. Oh, I've got a lovely letter in the mail. Getting mail is so much fun. Let's see who this one's from. Oh, I've got a lovely letter in the mail. Hmm, who wrote this letter? Let's see, it looks like we've got some toys over here, a rope and a tennis ball. This one looks like a Kong toy maybe. Hmm, and who wrote that? The writing looks a little messy to me. And look at this print they left right in the middle. Hmm, who could have written this letter? What do you think? Let's find out. Let's open up the letter. It's from our friend, Dog. Dear friend, maybe we can play fetch soon? Love, Dog. Oh, what a nice letter from our friend, Dog. We should play catch soon. Do you like playing catch with dogs and fetch? Mm-hmm, me too. Well, that was very nice. No wonder we had a paw print in the middle here and all of these toys, because dogs love to play with ropes and balls, don't they? Mm -hmm. Let's see who this green letter is from. Oh, I've got a lovely letter in the mail. Oh, I've got a lovely letter in the mail. Getting mail is so much fun. Let's see who this one's from. Oh, I've got a lovely letter in the mail. Hmm, who wrote this one? The handwriting is a little neater, and I still see, do you see the little, little prints? Somebody left tracks on this one, and then the stamp looks like a food dish with a little fishy on it. Hmm. Who would be eating fishy food? I wonder. Let's find out. It's from our friend, the cat. Dear friend, let's have fish lunch together. Love, cat. Hmm, I don't know if I quite want to eat fish the way a cat would, but I suppose we could have lunch together with the cat. What do you think? What a lovely letter from Cat. <laughs> Let's see who wrote our blue letter over here. Oh, I've got a lovely letter in the mail. Oh, I've got a lovely letter in the mail. Getting mail is so much fun. Let's see who this one's from. Oh, I've got a lovely letter in the mail. Hmm. Who wrote this one? It almost looks like the letter is wet. Do you see all those little drip marks coming off the address? 
and I see an empty bowl as the stamp. Hmm, who might send us this letter? What do you think? Let's find out. <gasps> it's from our friend the fish. Dear friend, I'm lonely. Can you please put a friend in my bowl? Love, fish. <gasps> Look at that little gold fish there. He would like a friend. I think we can do that. We'll send a fish. T we'll send a fishy friend to the fish. What a lovely letter that fish has sent us. We'll have to send him a thank you letter. We have one more letter left on our board. Let's see who this purple letter is from. Oh, I've got a lovely letter in the mail. Oh, I've got a lovely letter in the mail. Getting mail is so much fun. Let's see who this one's from. Oh, I've got a lovely letter in the mail. Hmm, who could have written this letter? Looks like there's a nest on the stamp and a feather for the address. Hmm, who would send something with nests and eggs and feathers? Hmm, let's find out. It's from our friend, Bird. Look at that. Bird says, dear friend, can you please visit my tree? I want to show you my new nest. Love, Bird. Have you ever seen a little bird like this hanging out? The next time you see one, stop by their tree and take a look at their nest. They would like to show it to you. What a lovely letter. We will again have to send a thank you to Bird or Wave next time we see him. Good job, friends. Thank you for helping me open all my letters. Well, friends, we've reached the end of our story time and it's time to say goodbye. Will you sing the goodbye song with me? Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. See you next time.